It just, I messed up. Oh. Okay, it is now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so no, up. here's what we're going to do. All right, hang on. I have to make this little thing go away because it's right in the middle of my screen. So I have to see what I'm doing. Okay, so recording. Now we're recording. So these okay. are the qualities and these are the color combinations. And I'm just going to show them real quickly so that there's a record of them because these uh -huh. are unique. Beautiful. Okay, because they are unique. All right, so we got that one. We've got this one. This one. The neutrals with a little mm -hmm. tiny bit of color. And the dark neutrals with the really rich teal and, okay. and uh, plum. And this really soft deserty one. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is just gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. And okay. Pretty too. So I'm not gonna belabor these anymore. Okay. I'm going to take them off and then I'm going to pull the linens back out so there's the recording in there. Okay. 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 Since there were some that were unique. If they weren't unique, so the tensile stripes, they were, they, they're on the website. You know, those, the tensile stripes, at least the families are on the website. But I think I know what you're referring to. It wasn't the um, it wasn't the linen with the stuff added, correct? Correct. Okay, so it was these guys. So these are the unique linens. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, those are all pretty. And you were talking there about was the, one. Just those were pink. Away. So maybe it was some of these. <laughs> yeah, maybe that one. I think it was that one. And there's also this one. Oh, it's this one. That was the one. Thank you. Okay. That's it. All right. All right. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So, so I, I would like to purchase that. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. I'm going to put your name on it. Okay. And, um, and these the are lace weights. So I you're like gonna, the pattern too. Yeah. You're, gonna, you're going to want to, um, do you want to do the cold breeze topper? So you're going to want to, these will be, you're going to use these double. We'll worry about that later. Okay. Tell me your name and I'll put your name on it. Okay, Karen Scarberry. Okay, Karen. And if you want to add other things to it, we'll talk about that too. But yeah, right now, yeah, we can do that later. Thank right you so now much. Okay. All right. We're going to go on now to. Um... Okay, so I was just talking about stuff. And um, I heard some giggles. So I know that there's lots of people who think, how could anybody not know what stuff is? But you know, sometimes there are people who don't know what stuff is. People don't <laughs> know how to use stuff. They don't know how to use it. So I'm gonna give you some really spectacular ways to use stuff. This is a one skein wrap. I did put um, an, a skein of tensile with it to make these tassels, but you know, you don't have to do that. So this is one full size skein. It goes this far because it's done in, a, in an open work stitch, yarn over, knit two together, or yarn over SSK, whatever you like doing. And it's really a nice, generous size. Um, and it's not overwhelmingly big, bulky, or thick. So it's the kind of thing that can almost live in your purse. Again, when you get in the air conditioning, you just need something on your shoulders. And there are gazillions of colors of stuff. So this can be made out of any, anything, any, any color of stuff. All you have to do is pick your color of stuff. If you want a tinsel to go with it, I mean, I like tassels. So I made these yeah, little yeah. tassels and then I twisted the ends and they're just, you know, sometimes yeah. I get like crazy. Just need a few beads and you're set. <laughs> yes. This is a half skein scarf. Oh, wow. That's it's just great. a half a skein. That's a really decent size for a oh. lovely little scarf. That's cute as it can be. 
That's on the website, Paula. Um, this one I haven't put up on the website yet, but a real we... piece of jewelry. So if you've never worked with stuff and you want to try working with stuff, <laughs> this is a fabulous way to start. It's a great thing to do. <laughs> if you like something that's a little bit more involved and a little bit more challenging, this is a sl very slightly shaped. So you know, the old rectangular ponchos where all you did was knit a long rectangle and then you brought it up and, and made a seam. This is based on that, but that usually leaves you with a really long um, drippy tail at one end. So I, I truncated it a little bit. So you're not getting that. But basically this is what stuff is. When you knit, all of this just happens all on its own. So here's a great little piece that takes some, um, no, off the top of my head, I'm not gonna remember, maybe a skein and a half. Um, and you can wear it lots of different ways. Again, you can, you can put the, you know, you can put the tail down here. Um, we put in some tensile tape to stretch it and also to do the edges. But again, I have a lot of tensile tape. So there's something almost, almost certain to be something to go with any color of stuff that you might like. And if you like to be a little less um, on autopilot and a little bit more in control of what's happening, I think that I love, love, love this. So this is four different half skeins of stuff, four different colors. And mm. what you do is as you're knitting, so stuff is varying lengths of all these different textures and they're tied together. So you start knitting with the first one and when you come to the first knot, you cut it and you pick a different color and you knit through the next yarn and then you cut it and you go to another color and you knit through the next yarn and you cut it. So you are interweaving four different colors or two different colors or as many colors as you really want um, to, make, to create your own colorway that no one else will ever have because the odds of someone else picking those exact same four colors are probably pretty slim. And who cares about the knots? All you're doing is replacing a knot that's already there. So what we do with the knots when we're knitting with it is just pull them to the inside and then, and then nip them off at about um, a quarter of an inch long. Because this is all textural, the reason knots poke out of your knitting is because knitting stretches, right? And when it's like a smooth sea of stockinette stitch, boom, that's gonna pop out. But this is all textured yarn to begin with. So even though it's moving around, as long as you're leaving a, a, a little tail, they tend to stay on the inside. And even if they don't, you just pop it back to the inside and who cares, who can know? At any rate, I, I wear this actually with this dress a lot. <laughs> it's a nice navy blue dress and I wear this because I think that doing this, all right, so here's the difference. This is, we've tied this together and the colors are all coordinated. This is the knitter tying it together. And the colors are coordinated because we selected colors that go together, but they're not going to be like anybody else's because it's being done by you in an extremely unique way, totally unique way. What colors questions? of what colors of stuff are those? In this one, this is called Carnival. Uh huh. I haven't seen that one. Okay. That that was new. That's the last new color I did. Oh, okay. This was Honeydew. Mm hmm. This is um Desert Shadow. Oh. No, Shadow Rose. Shadow Rose. Shadow Rose. I don't remember that Shadow one either. Rose. Yeah, that was also pretty new. And then what is in this one is Sapphire. Kale, garnet, and jade. Mm. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's and it's fun. It's it's fun and it's kind of challenging. You don't have to cut it all up in the beginning. You wind each one into a ball and you just start knitting out of it. When you get to a knot, boom, go to the next one. So I, I thought I really enjoyed doing that. I thought that was a great deal of fun. Thought that was a really fun, fun thing to do with stuff. So, 
Any questions any, about that? Do you have any colors of stuff like right there that you could show? Yes, no. Us? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because all of a sudden I couldn't hear anybody and I was afraid that. Oh, I, okay. So just in thinking about stuff, you know, you're, you're not limited by anything, but just pulling stuff off of the shelves. I came up with these combinations. Okay, wait, you don't want to see that. That's ugly. <laughs> Which colors are those? So this is jade, lichen, malachite, and juniper. Mm. And I thought for someone who likes color, that that would be a really gorgeous one. This is um, from my left, hibiscus and mango and zinnia and mist. Mist? So there's, you know, you're only limited really by your imagination. It's just um, have at it, go, go, go nuts, go nuts. All right, now. And if anybody, um... We don't have all the colors of stuff up on the website anymore, but um, if there is, if you want any color, we will get it for you. Yes, and they are all on my website. So isn't yeah. there different? Isn't there yarn different, isn't there different color quantities uh, of stuff? And then there's the light stuff. There's, there's different. These are the, yes, forget light stuff. These would all be either layers, wild, or cool stuff. Okay. And you can go to prismyarn.com and any of the colors that are on my site are current colors and Carla can order them. Yeah. Okay. We started at seven o'clock this morning taking artwork down off the wall in our house, which no longer has air conditioning. So I'm uh -huh. getting warm and tired. <laughs> Yes. So, okay. Now we have only two more things to show you. Um, this is called the dynamic duo. And um, many of you will have seen in the store the triple treat, so-called, partly because it takes three skeins of yarn and partly because there were three different patterns on the pattern. So this is the exact same ingredients. It is a skein of Petite Madison, a skein of Radiant Petite Madison, and a skein of Shimmerati. And we remade one of the um, triple treat patterns, which is the one we call Jaipur, which is this long rectangular scarf that um, is a pattern stitch sampler, basically, but very, very nicely long in its proportions. And I'm gonna show you my favorite way to wear rectangular scarves. So see, I've folded it in half and I put it around my neck with my hands in the middle of that. And I'm taking just one, one end and bringing it through the loop that was there. Now, I'm not going back through the same way. I mean, that's what I just did. I'm going in the other direction and pulling the other end through. And what I've done is make a nice little um, weaving right here. And what that does for you is it makes it much flatter here, okay? So you don't feel like you've got this big lump of a knot right, right catching your soup or whatever, okay? It's much flatter here. Um, so this is great for this. The pattern stitches, I'll show you as opposed to just doing this. So see how big that is? M much less flat. At any rate, all of these pattern stitches have been selected because they look good on both sides. And what we've done here color-wise is to change it up a little bit. We went to the chroma colors and picked um, the um, um, cantaloupe radiant petite and cypress petite. But instead of staying with the chroma color, we went into the layers colors and picked this really hot raspberry as the um, accent for this, which really just lifted the whole thing up a notch. It's, yeah. it's, a, very, um, <clears throat> it's a very hot combination. Does the raspberry have beads in it? Yes, sequins, yep. 
sequence. Yep. So, yeah. So then I tackled a, a new piece, and this is a large arced wrap where one end is substantially longer than the other, so it's asymmetrical. Again, it's a sampler of stitches, but here's the beauty of this. I, I, I just, I really love what happens here. So you have the shorter end and you start with that on one shoulder and then you bring the other end, the other end around. I need a dresser <laughs> and around. You get it settled on your shoulders. And it's long enough that you don't even need to put a stick or a cuff or anything on it. It just lays there. Now look what happens on the back. Oh, beautiful. Isn't that beautiful where you get the you get that that gentle overlapping of the two arcs where it's smaller and it's larger and you really get to see the pattern stitches is really worth doing. This is um, large enough to do a lot of different things with. Um, let's see. I forget all the things that I do. Oh, if you put the deepest section over your, yep, over one shoulder, put that over the other shoulder. Um, and you can encourage, because, because it's arced, you can encourage it to do this little rolly thing. That's kind of really cool looking. If you have um, cuffs or closures, you can do that here. I have a leather cuff here that I think looks pretty great on it. And that's a put it on and forget it. You know, it's there. So I can't help myself. You have to one. have a little color lesson if you're going to have a Laura presentation. So here's an interesting thing. Now, these colors were selected very purposefully to have a, a, a fair amount of contrast. There's, there's a color that's very light and a color that's very dark. Let me get closer so you can see. It's not black. It's a deep, it's a deep purple. Oh, wow. And then a light oh, gold. Wow. And that's then cool. the... the oh, um, beautiful. The, oh. the uh, sequin yarn is multicolored. So it's just adding little bits of color there. Now, isn't that interesting? Because until I got really close to you, when I'm this far back, what you're aware of is the pattern, the patterning, mm -hmm. the pattern stitches, not neutral. the color, right? Not the color. Well, if you pick colors, so there's a difference in value here. You've got light color and dark color. If you pick colors that are closer in value, you're a lot less aware of the pattern and a lot more aware of the colors. Isn't that interesting? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, so this is, these are identical pieces, but they present wow. very different faces. Interesting. Wow. And there are, these are, colors are all totally repeatable, but there are some, there, I'll show you a few. Um, I think this would be pretty amazing. You know, yeah, silver and black, and that beautiful sapphire blue. Or if you're a neutral person, and these are all on the site, so you don't have to necessarily remember them. A cream, and again a dark, and then just a a, a truly nice. multicolored um, um, neutrals. And then I think this would be pretty yummy. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh pity pat, pity pat. <laughs> That's fabulous. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. So that's our dynamic duo. And um, again, the pattern has both patterns on it. And the, you buy the kit in the next week, and the pattern comes with it for free. Cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, any questions about these? Oh. Beautiful. Excellent. Well, the last thing that we have is um, 
this really this really is a um this really is an auction so many of you may have knit with merino mia which is the sock weight yarn 100 percent merino that we've had for years and years and years that we could no longer get um so we had to replace it we replaced it with mia 2 which carla has in the store and essentially they're from different mills but they are essentially identical um except in price and so we've put put up the mia 2 in a different put up um mia 2 is i think a wee tad softer carla what do you think about that do you agree um yeah actually i think it i think it might be which is not necessarily a bad thing but right maybe not always a good thing either again with merino mia i have boatloads of already dyed stock so a woman who knits for me um, did this for herself, not in these colors. This is a pattern by Casapinka called Crown Wools. And my knitter, when she made it for herself, um, made it much wider. So it's a true wrap as opposed to a scarf. And so this is not my pattern. So the pattern would have to be obtained from Casapinka. But it takes 12, it's 12 sections. So it's 12 coordinating colors and a skein of each. And one of the reasons that um, Lynn made it larger is because hers was originally made with mini skeins. These are not mini skeins. So you wind up with a fair amount of yarn left, but this is such a glorious wrap. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. So it's just, it's, it's an incredible, incredible wrap. I can't I just got it back from her recently. So I've not had a chance to wear this yet, but I, I now will look forward to next winter because I can see wearing this kind of constantly. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece. So I have gone into the Merino Mia stashes and made up a bunch of kits. And these are up for grabs. I've put your name on them. Um, I can't in any way promise that I could repeat them. I, I, I probably could get similar, but I don't know at all that I could repeat. So if you bear with me here for a minute, I'm going to empty my big old box and I have numbered them. So we have number eight there. And they're probably not going to all fit on here. So I'm going to kind of do it a little by little. This oh, wow. is number seven. Oh, I think this next one is just glorious. Okay, wait, I'm going to do it in two parts. Mostly neutrals with just these hints of burgundy and rose. Hang on. Oh. That gorgeous. Mm. I love that one. And really, truly clear. Uh oh, I just lost my. All right. I just can't. There's two brights. Ooh. Brights and light brights. Not as not bright in a primary way that these are more jewel toned and then up into these softer. Ooh. Um, yeah, softer um, pastels. Oh, but wait, <laughs> there's two more <laughs> and they're equally won wonderful. So here's one of my, it's neutrals, but it's not really neutrals. Okay, so it starts out at this end and then goes up into those. Ooh. Wow. Pretty. And, oh, this one is, all right. Again, I gotta do it in, my hand's just not big enough. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. And hang on till you see what happens at the other end. <laughs> so, okay, so we're at the middle and then it goes into this. Oh. Yeah, it's a really, really pretty one. So what I do is I package them. 
and I forget if it's one through 12 or A, B, C, whatever, but I, I label them in the order that I think you should use them. Mm -hmm. But you're always welcome to mix that up if you want to. But that takes away the, oh my God, these colors are great. Now, what do I do with them? You don't have to think about that. You don't have to worry about that. Um, I can do that for you. All right. Does anybody want to see any of these further? I know once it's all laying there, it's really hard. So what's the, what are the numbers um, again? Could you just tell me the numbers? So this is eight, these um, rusty earthy colors. This is three, the grays and um, roses. Four is the, um, the, the, the light brights. Mm -hmm. Seven are these real jewel tone strong ones. Mm -hmm. And what did I just, what did I say this was? Did I ever say it was anything? Two, <laughs> two. two, number two. Okay. That's these um, more earthy, deserty colors. And number okay. five is the, um, these neutrals. Okay. And actually, what could I do? You want me to, I mean, I could like do them front and center. Since it's being recorded, why don't I do that? All right, so here's number eight. Okay. All right. And here's number seven. Hang on, I'm gonna, there we go. It's number two. Pretty. I think number two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> number two is pretty darn fabulous. Yep, yep. Yeah. So it's three. But that one's pretty fabulous too. <laughs> yeah, it is. Number three. It is. It really is. And um, it's hard to see, but you can see it when I get closer. You know, that these are not non-colors. They're, they're, they're really lovely, yeah, really deep. rich. Yes. Oh, yeah. So if any, um, Julia just asked a question. This is called the crown wools. It yes. was a pro, it was a, it's a pattern from Casapinka that was yes. originally done for, um, it was a, a, a mini skein special that had 12 different colors. So right. it's up on the website, the number two. Okay, Marianne wants number two. Okay. Did, and did, um, how much are these on sale for? Let me check the website. I've got the I've got it listed. It doesn't have the colors, it just has the 204. Okay, thank you. For the 12 skeins, yeah. And I will say that there is plenty left over for a scarf or a hat and some wristlets or whatever. I mean, there was a lot left over. I would say that it used about two thirds of each skein. Mm -hmm. So, and this is number five. Now, I can't give you the pattern because it's not my pattern to give, but I do include um, the modification sheet which tells you how many stitches we added to make it wide. Yeah. And also, this would also be wonderful for a find your fade if you wanted to do the find your fade pattern with this. Yes. Yeah, I'm not, not wild about the Casapinka pattern, but this could be pretty in so many things. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Or yes, this would also be a wonderful, um, the etude jacket or the jacket that's on the cover of the... Um, Artful, is it artful color? I yes. always forget which is, if it's, yes, which it's one's artful, artful color. Which one. yes. Yeah. Uh, Sonata. Yeah, this would be a wonderful, um, this would be a wonderful jacket too. Yes, and yeah. you have the option to do that, absolutely. The Sonata takes 14 skeins. This is 12. So okay. if you want enough to do that, to do a big jacket, we just have to add two skeins and I can easily add two skeins to the mix. Um. Okay. Which, that jacket's uh, beautiful. The one with the pink, what number is that? The track? That one. With this one? No, no the, the no. one the one to your immediate right. That one. This one? 
Did somebody say they wanted that? Yeah, this is, yes, this is Mary Ann. It's number two. If you really want something, I can't promise it's going to be every single color the same, but I can certainly do something very similar. Can, can we look at them again? Sure. The, uh, so there's your number two. Yeah, number two. Yeah. Because I really like that. Number yarn. five. That's pretty. Sorry. Number four. Ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, just, just, just uh, I think number four. If no, yeah, yeah. Let, hold, can you hold that up a little closer to the camera? I can. The end ones, just the end ones. The uh, just, on just your right, those, yeah. Yeah, your, oh, the ones on your right, yeah. Your other right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting those two. Your <laughs> other right. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. With yeah, I think I need that too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Put okay. my name on that one. <laughs> and you're and this is I'm sorry I can't see so Karen, K A R E N Scarberry. Got it. All right. That's just luscious. Okay. Oh, I want gonna... to mess these up because I've got them all. I got I got to put the numbers on them. So. <laughs> yeah, that's a no great idea. Um. I'm answering, um, Julie asked a question, but I'm writing it for everybody. The jacket that we were talking about, there's the Sonata jacket, which is the one in the book. And then there's also another one called Etude, which is very similar, um, that's uh, in a pattern. So this is the Sonata jacket. Yeah, that's my jacket. And this, <laughs> this, one, this one was made, now I will point out that in this particular jacket, it's symmetrical. So the sleeves are identical and the fronts are identical and the fronts are identical to the back, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can use the colors however you want to. You could go yes. through half a skein of each going to the middle and then reverse it, okay? You don't have to do it the way that we did, but this is another one of those Eileen Fisher style jackets in that it's very boxy in the body. The sleeve is then a little bit narrower and it suits pretty much everybody. Um, there's, you know, this is something I learned quite a long time ago is that most of us make our pullovers too big and our jackets too small. That you really, if you, unless you intend to button your jacket all the time, you need to have this much ease, this much overlap. Yeah. See how much overlap there is? In order that it lays this way instead of laying this way. Yeah. Because if you make it to your bust, even with a couple of inches, this is what's going to happen. It's it's like this all the time. So that's the beauty of the all of these jackets that I've designed is that they're always generous enough that you don't have to close them with anything and they look right. So yeah, you could definitely, we just would have to add a couple of skeins. And we could do that by duplicating some of the skeins or um, it all depends on what, what I have in stock, I'd have to look, but, yeah. but it could be done, absolutely. And that's it. So ask away mm -hmm. any questions that you have at this point or not. Yeah, so many possibilities. You've Lots opened up so many possibilities. Great. Yeah, that's fabulous like to hear that. Beautiful yarn. Would you, uh, Laura, would you be able to put something together like number two? Do you think that you've yes. got? I, yes. yes. Okay. All I right. can't say that every single, I, I'm looking at it. I have that. I have that. I might not have that. I might not have that. Yes. It, it, it would be very, very similar. Yeah. yeah. And that's, oh, that's something else I, um, I wanted to make sure that everybody knows that, um, I am, I am so picky about color and usually I have to choose everything myself. But what I do when it comes to um, prism stuff is um, I say, I really like that, but I, I'd like it in something like tumbleweed. And then I just, Laura sends me something fabulous. That's all I have to do is say, I want something like tumbleweed. <laughs> so you can always do that if you want. And likewise, 
if you, for instance, if if you were looking at here at number four, which which Karen has claimed, so this isn't up for grabs, but <laughs> but if you were looking at this and you're looking at this, and you know, I love everything about that except that orange. Well, I'll find something else to go there. Okay, so if you go back through the recording and you're looking at things and you're like, boy, I really like that, but I just don't like that. We can work with it. And, and especially these days, I mean, I take a cell phone pic and send it to Carla and she could and say, this is what I, this is what I suggest, the variation I suggest. And then you still have knowing, of course, understanding that the, um, that technology is not perfect. And even me, I have huge overhead um, LED lights that are um, um, skylight, you know, they're, they're color corrected. Well, but I don't know that my camera's taking the best color pictures and I don't know that your monitor is receiving the best color pictures. So there's always a little bit of, of, of that going on, but thank you, Carla. I, I use my eyes and I will never let anything leave this studio that I don't think is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah and, and I'm not sure that everybody knows that anytime a color combination is put together by Prism, it's Laura. I mean, she, yeah. yeah. It's not, it's, it's personally picked by Laura. Yeah. See, and I think you could make those, uh, those little teas that you had advertised earlier. I think mm -hmm. you could make a couple of those out of that combination yeah. and just be fabulous. Oh, yes, absolutely. Laura, do you have that other T around the one that that you said there's no pattern for with the diagonals? It was you knitted out of linen, I think. It has. Oh, you know what? It's home in my closet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> okay, that is just fabulous. I've been thinking yeah. about how I want to make something like that. Yeah. Okay. So many, uh, too, not enough days, not enough time. <laughs> right, I know, I know. Okay, well, if nobody has any other questions, um, I'm gonna follow up. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll send you an email, um, Laura, with the details about the, the customizations that, uh, mm -hmm. that, yep. that I've gotten requests for. So I'll do that and um, Anybody, you know, you've got time to think about it. I will. I'm sorry that I for, that I screwed up the recording, but we at least have most of the second mo, the second half is recorded. Um, and um, if you want a link to it, just let me know. Um, and uh, so, you, if you think about something and you decide you want something, you can either order it from the website, um, send us a message, or give us a call. Can, can, I get one, can I get one more thing, Carla? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> you had a set of three that you put down underneath the table that was uh, the sparkly. Yeah. One of them was real sparkly. Um, yes. So there was this combo. Uh, yeah. This combo. Yeah, there was one more. Yep. And it's the last combo. No, this one. The last one I pulled out was this. Must have been that one. Yeah. Yep. Yes, I th I think I need that too. Okay. Okay. Which colors are those? Um, this is the one we call Autumn Blooms. I think it's um, okay. it's Blue Jay Autumn and Adobe. Okay. I thought it had more red in it. One, one that saw, I saw had more red in it. Um, oh, you know what? There was one, hang on, that had... I thought you put it right there with that. Where you got those from? I thought that's where you put it. No. <clears throat> um, no. No, I, I, I had them all together. Okay. But I do know, I mean, as you're saying that, I do know that what you're saying, hang on, I didn't show you this, but I can. <laughs> and it, might be, Sorry. it might, be, <laughs> might be just what you want. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so let's, since you think, you know. Yeah. So look at how gorgeous Ooh, that that's, is. That's, that's pretty. pretty. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. I think I, I, I think I like the one that um, you know 
No, the the pink. I like the salmon and the the this, up, that one. Yeah, I yeah, think I like okay. that one the best. Yeah, let me have that too. Okay. All right. Yeah. And what was the number of Karen's um set that the one in front? Number four. Number, number four. Okay. Number, number four. Okay. And this was also okay. Karen. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Karen too. You had Carly. you had too many pretty things. Pretty must have. Yeah, that one's Karen too. Yeah. This yeah. is also Karen. Yeah, I just yeah. want to put yeah. them in the same place. Yeah, good. I, yeah. yeah. I, I have to come in here tomorrow and figure out <laughs> figure it all out. So yeah. right. <laughs> you know, so Thank you. Thank you for your notes. patience. Sure. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. I'll write up then if you're coming in tomorrow, I'll write up my notes that you have it tonight. I don't know. I I'm kind of teasing. Monday oh, okay. for sure. All right. Mon Monday Please. for sure. Monday for yeah, you're probably still going to you probably need to recover tomorrow from yet from today. So <laughs> from the move. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you know, we still have to go do our two hours first thing in the morning. So we'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for thanks for being here and playing with me for the afternoon. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Matt. <laughs> Hi, Matt. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, I'll end the meeting then and I will um, process the recording and let me know if you, um, I'll probably post a link to it in our Facebook group. If you're not in the Facebook group, let me know if you want the link. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank Bye. You. Have a happy Juneteenth and a happy Father's Day tomorrow, everybody. And thanks for being with me. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. You. Bye-bye.